Uh, hello guys, uh, my name is Nathaniel Portelli and today I'm going to show you a prototype covering the title Supervised Machine Learning, Applying a Machine Learning Algorithm to Predict Potential Future Business Profits and Losses. Um, so to go ahead and show the prototype. Uh, basically what the prototype needs is a year and a month. For example, the year 2020, month 5. And it predicts accordingly depending on the data set we, we give it. So, if we give a different year and a month, for example, 2019, month two, it will predict a different figure. Let's try it again. As you can see, uh, the number changes depending on the year and month. So, what is happening here, basically, if we... I don't know, here we have the year and month, these are user inputs, and then they are fed here. Um, some validation occurs, the normal validation, so if, if the user does not enter a number, it will, it, it will return an error. If the user does not um, input a year between 1900 and 2050, it will return an error, and the month as well. So, um, what is happening here, when you give uh, the the year and the month as parameters to this uh, method, a new pipeline is being created. Um, these are added to the pipeline, a CSV, which I'm going to show you um, later on. Um, concatenating the columns of the CSV and uh, getting the algorithm to, to be added to the pipeline as well. Um, here we are creating the model and training it we have two classes, which I'm going to show you soon as well. Um, and another CSV file, um, which is a test CSV file to, to measure the metrics and the accuracy of the model. So these are the metrics. It is, it is written in the console. And this is where the actual prediction happens. So let's go ahead and show you these two classes. First, the sales data. It, uh, it will load the the columns of the of the CSV file into this class, so the the model can um, have a representation of the class to work with. As well, we are we are doing another class called sales prediction, which is basically the score and um, the prediction which which the model will will make. So, if we open the CSV files, this one. And the other. So this CSV file, as you can see, have ha, has different different years and months, and with different figures. Um, basically, the model is being trained um, with different figures. If we go to the sales data test, these these are the same, but a very smaller data set so that it can measure metrics. Go ahead and close this. So to run it, uh, we need to go to Configuration Manager and choose the platform times 64, or it won't work. Also, um, the two packages installed for this prototype are Microsoft.ml. In this version, we are using 0 0.2 and microsoft.ml.cpumet version 0 0.11 let's show it one more time and it will predict accordingly according to the, the data set we gave it earlier So that's it guys, um, thank you for seeing this video, the references uh, for this video are down below, and have a nice day.